What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another walk around review video of the 2024 Honda Accord hybrid in the sport trim and we're going to be talking about exterior, interior and specs on this exact car. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need and appreciate your guys' support, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, guys, if you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us so we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Honda in Folsom, California, right outside Sacramento, California, for providing us this Honda Accord for this review. Keep watching, stay tuned, because we're also dropping that MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid Sport. So let's kick this walk around review video off with talking what do we get under the hood of the Sport Hybrid 2024 Honda Accord. Now this is the standard powertrain in all the hybrid lineups. You get four trims. The Sport in this video is the lowest trim in the hybrid lineup. Very, very reliable engine is a 2.0 liter inline four. 16 valve dual overhead cam paired together with electrically variable speed automatic that's pretty much your transmission 1.3 kilowatt hybrid battery two electric motors pushing out 204 horsepower with 247 pounds feet of torque everybody let me know what you guys think about this engine in the comment section below i personally like it more than the 1.5 liter but again that's my uh, preference. So let's talk MPG. 46 city, 41 highway, and a 44 combined with a 12.8 gallon gas tank size. Length, width, and height in inches. So dimensions is 196 in length, 73 inches in width, and 57 inches in height with a wheelbase of about 111 inches, everybody. So guys, this is the sport, and we are talking sport in this video again. I like to mention that because you will be seeing multiple things that are different and I'm gonna point that out to you guys in this video. Starting with the exterior paint color, it's a radiant red paint color. Dropping down to the headlights, we left the hazards on so you guys get an idea of what those look like and the LED lightings with the black housing interior side of that headlight. Matte black plastic trim right around that headlight. Piano black gloss on the front grill now if you do see some white specks is because they actually buffed or polished the car don't pay attention to that that does not come standard on these cars dropping down to that lower side grill matte black plastic finishing that lower lip in the matte black okay other trims will have like bumper sensors and things of that sort watch our other videos at vagabond builds shooting over to the side of the car itself okay let's talk rims rims are going to be different between trims piano black gloss with the machine surface silver the styles are going to be different from example the sport to the sport l to the touring and things of that sort good year tires and they're running the eagle tourings and it's a 235 40 19 inch front mcpherson strut suspension on the front moving forward to the side mirror has that black gloss paint up top with the matte black plastic on the lower side of that side mirror. Blinker lighting is not integrated in the sport trim. Other trims will have blinker lighting and then the blind spot assist does come standard as tech on the Honda Accord. Dropping down to that rocker panel area, this comes in the matte black plastic cover for that rocker panel. Keyless fob entry on the sport. Okay, that's pretty much standard on the hybrids. Wanting to open this door to you guys so you guys get an idea of how wide this entryway is to that passenger or the driver's seat as well. Very nice so you're not banging yourself up into this sedan. Now, EPA did rate the Honda Accords back in 2018, I believe, that it's a full-size sedan, no longer a mid-size sedan, okay? Opening up the back door, a little bit more uh, compact coming in, but I do see that you still have a lot of room entering this Honda Accord. Okay, now over to the rear end. Up top, you get that sporty black gloss spoiler, the Honda emblem right there in the center, LED lighting. Now, this is pretty much a LED bar, I would say, but it kind of gets split from that Honda emblem. Hazards are on, so you guys get an idea of what the hazards look like. Okay, this, these tail lights are standard, backup lights are here, these little rectangles. Dropping down to the Accord. Uh, label along with the hybrid and the sport you'll see different um, labels here letting you know which trim it is on the Honda Accord 
right near the license plate area, the left-hand side of that Honda, you have the camera for that rear camera. No bumper sensors here on the back on the Sport, but other trims do get bumper sensors on the rear. And finishing off that lower side with the matte black plastic lower kind of valence area. And then the exhaust is over on the passenger side, tucked away, giving it more of a simplistic minimalist look. Let's go ahead and pop open that cargo. Now we open up to the cargo. You get about 16.7 cubic feet of cargo area. What do we get on the right and the left? Just some tie downs for like groceries if this is your grocery getter. Up top, you can pull these levers and pop those seats down, all right? This is a 60 percenter on the right and a 40 percenter on the left. Under the mat, what do we get? Your tire situation going on, a little funnel, but you do not have spare tire on the sport hybrid, okay? Now closing this trunk space, now that we're done talking some specs, exterior and cargo, let's go ahead and talk interior. So let's talk interior of the Sport Hybrid Honda Accord. Now just get an overall look of what this looks like with the cloth seating, the piano black gloss inlay trims, 12.3 inch infotainment screen that we do see that is standard on the hybrids or the Honda Accords and then the full digital driver cockpit cluster display screen. Just a very cool overall look on the Honda Accord. But starting with the door panel, wanted to bring this interior to you guys with the door panel first. Control units to your windows, unlock lock and controls to the side mirrors. And let's go ahead and open this door and show you guys what it looks like from the inside when the sun is beating on it. Okay. Now the driver's seat itself is a 10 way adjustable electric seat. Okay. Now the dis there is no heated or ventilation seating in the sport trim. This being kind of the base entry Honda Accord on the hybrid lineup. All right. In front of me, leather wrap steering wheel, piano black gloss trim, matte black plastic as well. Regen paddles on the right and the left. Controlling your um, cruise control lane departure assist and things of that sort on the right and on the left, your media control with controlling that info card there on the left-hand side of that cluster, okay? Now, it does come with Alexa built-in, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This doesn't have Google built-in, but the Touring does come with it, okay? Just have the Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and show you guys the power flow, what that screen looks like. And then info card there on the right, you can kind of go through your cards for time or compass. I go back home, go through that, show you guys a little bit. Really responsive, touch sensitive screen. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is the backup camera and what it looks like when you're backing up. Different angles as well, okay? Now that's wide angle, close that. Hard button there next to that screen for your media. All right, dropping down, you got your vents. This kind of integrates a full vent look. This is not a full vent. You just have your two vents here and your vent there on the right. Wrapped with piano black trim, dropping down. You do have dual climate controls. This is the way to control the airflow, the middle knob. The left-hand side is the temperature controls and along with the right, you can sync it by pressing those buttons and you get temperature control control number is there and also up here when you're changing okay defrosters ac things of that sort usb-c plugins but no wireless charging pad in the sport trim piano black gloss trim drive modes up to four drive modes individual sport normal and econ and screen switches as you go through them we'll leave it in normal Big, nice, wide cup holders. This is what your 2024 Honda Accord key fob looks like with the automatic engine start so you can be in your house and warm up the car from inside your house. Your EV button right under that drive mode lever. Parking brake button along with brake hold. Opening up this glove compartment, uh, sorry, the uh, center console. Cubby room with the 12 volt outlet in here as well, okay? Passenger seat, finishing off this front end with the passenger seat. It is manual controlled, okay? So the lever up here to move it forward and the levers here to control that backrest. And in front of you is a lockable glove compartment, okay? Up top, it is a manual visor with tilt and slide sunroof option. And you would be controlling that with this button here, okay?
rear view mirror does not come auto dimmable for the people who'd like to know. Now that we're pretty much done with talking front side of this interior, let's go ahead and show you guys the second bench seating and what we get back there and finish off with this video. So we left the seat down so you guys get an idea from the rear view doors, how it looks from the cabin over to the cargo area. Closing this up. So same look coming in from the front to the back with the bench seating in that cloth uh, material covering your seats. Armrest there in the center with your nice big cup holders back here. Shout out to Honda for those big cup holders. What do we get in front of us? In front of us, one pocket on the back of that passenger seat, but no pocket on the driver. In between those two seats, just clear back, uh, back plastic on that uh, rear center console. The reason I mentioned that because different trims will have two USB-C plugins, uh, the higher trims, adding some tech inside the car. Also, no heated seats on the sport uh, trim to where other uh, other trims will add heated seats to the back bench. Okay, guys, I'm about six feet two inches. So the space test, you are clear. My legs aren't touching that front seat. My head isn't touching that top liner. So it is clear. And I do see this uh, being pretty comfortable for a long road trip. So guys, this car is coming in at around $33,700. Uh, higher trims do, do get more expensive because they add tech and things of that sort, the bells and whistles. Let me know what you guys think. Here's the MSRP sticker so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Keep watching. Check out our other videos for different trims and comparisons here at Vagabond Builds. Thank you guys and God bless you.